वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी सॉल्विंग ऑप्शनल एक्सरसाइज दैट इज एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट फोर फ्रॉम द चैप्टर पॉलिनोमियल्स एंड बाय दिस वी विल कंप्लीट दिस चैप्टर सो दैट नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑनवर्ड्स वी विल स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर नाउ ऑल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर हैव बीन ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड दिस एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट फोर इज ऑप्शनल बिकॉज इट कंटेन सर्टेन टिपिकल सम्स विथ सम मोर डिफिकल्टी लेवल एज कम्पेयर टू द अदर अदर सम्स और अदर एक्सरसाइजेस स्टिल वी विल कंप्लीट दिस सो दैट अवर एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज कॉन्क्रीट एंड ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल्सो कैन प्रैक्टिस दिस एक्सरसाइज एज अ होमवर्क दैट आई विल डिस्कस एट द एंडिंग ऑफ द वीडियो now uh, let us start with the first question uh, the first question states that we need to verify the zeros of a given cubic polynomial what are the three numbers uh, that are uh, to, to be verified 1 upon 2 1 and minus 2 so we will have to verify whether these three are actually the correct zeros of this cubic polynomial and once it is verified we also need to verify the relationship between its zeros and coefficients okay so actually let us uh, start verification if you remember the previous exercises students you will uh, rem- uh, see that in the previous exercises in the previous videos we did same kind of sum for a cubic polynomial where we were given certain numbers and we need to verify whether those numbers are actually the correct zeros of this cubic polynomial or not so what was the method we will uh, place each value one by one in this uh, polynomial and if the final result is zero that means these numbers are re- zeros of this cubic polynomial okay so here we have a polynomial say p of x so we can start first we will place up the value of p of 1 by 2 what is the meaning of this every time we uh, encounter x it will be replaced by 1 by 2 so let us see 2 into uh 1 by 2 cube will be 1 upon 8 plus x square 1 by 2 square will be 1 upon 4 minus 5 into 1 by 2 i can directly write 5 upon 2 plus 2 first we will complete up all the elimination part this will be 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 will be 2 by 4 minus 5 upon 2 plus 2 2 by 4 on cutting what we are getting 1 upon 2 so 1 upon 2 minus 5 upon 2 plus 2 now what we can do we can uh, take the lcm lcm will be definitely 2 so here 1 minus 5 2 into 2 will be plus 4 okay 4 plus 1 will be 5 5 minus 5 will be 0 so we are getting value of 0 that means 1 upon 2 is a correct zero of the given cubic polynomial okay uh now let us proceed ahead we will put the second value and check whether it is polynomial or not that is a zero of the polynomial or not we are putting uh, p of 1 wherever x is there we will put 1 i think this can be done in short 1 cube is 1 so 2 plus uh, x square that is 1 square is again 1 minus 5 into 1 is 5 plus 2 So this will be three minus five plus two. Three plus two is five. Five minus five is zero. That means one is also zero of the given cubic polynomial. Let us verify for the third one. What is the third one? P of minus two. Okay. So two into minus two cube plus minus two square minus five into minus two. Plus two minus two cube will be minus eight minus eight into two will be minus sixteen minus two square will be positive four minus minus will be plus five to the ten plus two here we can see ten plus four fourteen fourteen plus two minus sixteen plus sixteen uh, it is zero that means minus two is also a correct zero of this polynomial. so we have now verified all the three numbers are zeros of the polynomial what is the next step in the question we will verify the relationship between the zeros students uh, if you have uh, paid attention to the previous videos you will know that any cubic polynomial has three zeros alpha beta gamma correct now what is the relationship uh, between uh, these zeros first relationship was sum of the zeros that is alpha 
प्लस बीटा प्लस गामा इक्वल टू माइनस बी अपॉन ए करेक्ट सेकेंड वर्स द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दिस एल्फा बीटा प्लस बीटा गामा प्लस गैमा एल्फा इज इक्वल टू वट इज आंसर सी अपॉन ए ओके एंड द थर्ड वर्स प्रोडक्ट एल्फा बीटा एंड गामा इक्वल टू माइनस डी अपॉन ए ओके ओके नाउ बिफोर वी प्रोसीड अहेड वॉट वी विल डू वी विल राइट दिस इक्वेशन एंड कंपेयर इट विद द जनरल फॉर्म ऑफ अ क्यूबिक इक्वेशन सो टू एक्स क्यूब प्लस एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस फाइव एक्स प्लस टू वॉट इज जनरल फॉर्म ऑफ अ क्यूबिक इक्वेशन ए एक्स क्यूब प्लस बी एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस सी एक्स प्लस डी सो वॉट वैल्यूज ऑफ ए बी सी एंड डी डू वी डिराइव फ्रॉम दिस A is equal to two. Nothing is there. So B equal to one. C equal to minus five, and D equal to two. So using these values, we will be verifying all the three relationships now. Also, do not forget, students. These three are the zeros of the polynomial. So we can also suppose alpha to be one by two, beta to be one. and gamma to be minus 2 okay so that this will make our verification process easy so we have now the values of alpha beta and gamma also we have the values of a b c d so let us quickly verify the relationship as stated okay now all values are written so let us verify the first relationship what was the first one alpha plus beta plus gamma equal to minus b upon a okay So we will solve on both the sides. Alpha plus beta plus gamma. That is one by two plus one plus minus two. That means one by two. If I directly write plus one minus two, that means one by two. One by two is minus one. And what we are getting? We are getting one minus two upon two. That is equal to minus one upon two. Okay. So that we are getting. On this side. Now minus b by a. So let us see minus. What is the value of b? One. What is the value of a? Two. Okay. So this first relation relationship is actually verified. Okay. Now let us go for the second relationship. What was that? Alpha into beta plus beta into gamma plus uh, gamma into alpha equal to c upon a. Okay. So let us uh, start with these values. Alpha into beta that is one by two into one plus beta into gamma that is one into minus two plus gamma into alpha that is minus two into one upon two. This is we are solving for this side. So this will be one by two uh, minus two. This will be cut minus one. Please make sure no sign errors and uh, such kind of errors are there. One by two plus minus two, two and two is cut, so we are left with minus one. So one upon two minus three. On taking LCM and everything, we are getting one minus six upon two. So final answer is minus five upon two for this side. Okay. Now coming for this side, C upon A. What is the value of C? You can see minus five. Upon what is the value of a? That is two. So here you can see our second relationship is also verified. Okay. Now let us solve the last relationship. What was the last relationship? Alpha into beta into gamma equal to minus d upon a. Let us first quickly solve the first side. Alpha one upon two into beta one into gamma minus two. Two and two eliminated, and finally we are left with minus one. Minus d upon a. What is the value of d? It is two. What is the value of a? It is again two. So this will be minus one. So as you can see, students, all the relationships have been verified, and uh, you can refer to the question. Little lengthy, but simple one. And such kind of questions can come in the exams. Okay, now students, uh, we solved first question from question number one. Question number one has one more question of the same pattern that will be your homework. Now let us go for question number two. 
again this uh, same pattern of question we solved before just i would be showing we have to find a cubic polynomial okay where sum of the zeros sum of product of its zeros and product of zeros are stated that is 2 minus 7 and minus 14 okay so let us start we want to find a cubic polynomial so suppose the cubic polynomial that we need to find is p of x what is the general form of a cubic polynomial a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d and uh, how many zeros does a cubic polynomial have three so zeros are alpha beta and gamma now let us see what is given in the question find a cubic polynomial so this is our cubic polynomial with sum of zeros as 2 so alpha plus beta plus gamma equal to 2 correct sum of product of zeros is minus 7 so meaning of that alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to minus 7 correct sum of product of its zeros is minus 7 and product of its zeros is minus 14 that means alpha into beta into gamma is minus 14 so we have noted down every possible information that was available in the question now before we go on solving we know very easily alpha plus beta plus gamma equal to 2 alpha plus beta plus gamma is also equal to students what is that minus b upon a correct alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to minus 7 but we also know alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is also equal to what c upon a Similarly, alpha into beta into gamma is equal to a minus 14, but also alpha into beta into gamma equal to minus d upon a. Correct? So, what we will do now, in the next page, we will make use of these relations. Okay? You can pause the video and see, then we will solve the pending question on the next page. Okay, students, so as you can see, I have noted down all the values from the previous page. Now, using all these three we are getting three equations just pay attention minus b upon a equal to 2 from this one correct c upon a equal to minus 7 from the second one and minus d upon a equal to minus 14 that is from the third one Okay, so now we will be using these three to find out our needed cubic polynomial. Now students, just uh, pay attention. Minus b upon equal to 2, c upon equal to minus 7 and minus d upon equal to minus 14. Uh, if we just look into these equations, what value of a do you suppose everywhere a is in the denominator? Everywhere no denominator is specified. So that means technically what is the value of a value of a is 1 I hope you understood very simple now what we will do we will place down the value of a in all three of them suppose minus b upon a was 2 now if we put the value of a to be 1 so what we are getting value of b we are getting value of b to be minus 2 I hope you are very clear and very uh, safe to understand this Okay, second one, c upon a equal to minus 7. If we put the value of a to be 1, what is the value of c? Value of c is minus 7. And in the same way, minus d upon a equal to minus 14. Here what we will do? First we will eliminate the uh, minus d upon a is 14. Placing the value of a to be 1, d will be equal to 14 students. Okay, so we have all the values required for our cubic polynomial what is the general form of the cubic polynomial a x cube what is a 1 so x cube plus b x square what is b minus 2 so minus 2 x square plus c x what is our c minus 7 x plus d 14 so finally we have x cube minus 2x square minus 7x plus 14 so this is our required cubic 
polynomial okay you can pause the video re repeat the question and it is uh, easy you will be easily able to solve it okay now students so let us see uh, the next question question 3 is a simple question as per me it will be your homework solutions we will be discussing in the next class now last question for today is question number 4 as I repeated time and again, this pattern of question is very important where two zeros are given and other two zeros have to be found. In our previous videos, you can see that we have solved many questions like this. More importance have been put on such questions because actually these are easy mark gaining yet important questions. Okay, so we have a polynomial x to the power 4 minus 6x cube minus 26x square plus 13x minus uh, 35 and two of the zeros don't get confused with this sign the meaning of this is 2 plus under root 3 and 2 minus under root 3 so two zeros are given we need to find the other two zeros okay so let us start so same method we will follow as we used to follow in our previous question of this type this is first zero so x equal to 2 plus root 3 this is second zero so x equal to 2 minus root 3 what we used to do, we used to take this from this side. So, x minus 2 plus root 3 equal to 0. Now, here students, you have to take care of very small, small things. Some of you, what uh, you might have done, uh, sir told that we have to do minus. So, x minus 2 plus root 3 equal to 0. If you I might have done this, this would be wrong. Just remember, this is a single entire term. So, whenever you are bringing the values here, every sign will be reversed. Okay. So, 2 has plus. So, this will become minus and vice versa. 3 root through as uh, root 3 has also plus. So, whenever it goes this side, this will become minus. So, please take care of small, small things. So, x minus 2 minus root 3 equal to 0. In the same way, x minus 2 plus root 3 equal to 0. I hope you are understanding. So, now what we will do? We will uh, club both the factors together. One of them is x minus root minus 2 minus root 3 and another is x minus 2 plus root 3 equal to 0. Now, this will be a little big divisor students okay so we will always try to make our divisor small so that our division process is easier okay so let us give a thought can we do like this x minus 2 minus root 3 x minus 2 plus root 3 do you find any resemblance or any identity see a minus b a plus b so what is that a minus b a plus b a square minus b square so a square minus b square correct so i hope you are uh, getting the fact now we will just expand it so we get a proper divisor what is a, uh, x minus 2 whole square it is x square minus 4x plus 4 root 3 square will be 3 so what we are getting x square minus 4x plus 1 and this will be our divisor for our division process students please pause the video rerun this uh, small part so that you can have a better understanding Okay, students, so let us start the division process. Okay, uh, a small, you can say, error in writing the question. Instead of 13x, it was 138x, uh, so that we can do the correct solution. So, our divisor is ready, our uh, dividend is ready, so let us start. I hope you remember the division method. Uh, you can do it directly, but still, you can check your thing. What is the first part of question? first part of this x to the power 4 divided by first part of dividend and divisor so x to the power 4 divided by x square will be x square so that will be first part of our question what we are doing next we were multiplying each part of our divisor with each part of the new quotient so let us do it x square into x square is x to the power 4 minus 4x plus x square is minus 4x cube and 1 into x square is simply 
x square. Okay, reversing the signs, minus plus minus. This is eliminated. Minus six x cube plus four x square minus two x cube. Minus twenty six x square minus x square is minus twenty seven x square. Rest of the terms we will put it down. Plus one thirty eight x minus thirty five. Correct. Now for uh, next part of question. First, uh, you can say term of our uh, new dividend minus two x cube, and first term of divisor that is x square. Eliminating what is our new question minus two x. Okay, multiplying each term of uh, the divisor with the new question minus two x. So x square minus two x minus two x cube minus four x minus two x plus. 8x square plus 1 into minus 2x minus 2x. Reversing the signs. This is eliminated. Minus 27 minus 8 minus 35x square plus 138 plus 2 plus 140x. And we will take down this term minus 35. So this is our new dividend. Again the same thing, minus 35x square. That is first term of dividend divided by first term of divisor. What we are getting as new quotient minus 35. So x square into minus 35 minus 35x square minus 4x into 35. 35 fours are 140 and minus minus will be plus and uh, plus 1 into minus 35. Minus thirty-five, and you can easily see that all the terms will be eliminated. Our remainder will be zero. So now let us find out the zeros. As you all know, we will be using the division algorithm. Uh, on you can say factorizing this, we will go back to the original two zeros that are given in the question. So we will not do that. We need to find the newer zeros. So we will factorize this term. And remainder is zero, so there is no need to worry. So x square minus two x minus thirty-five. Remember the division algorithm: p of x equal to g of x into q of x plus r of x. Okay. In our case, r of x is zero. Okay. G of x will lead us to the original two zeros given in the question. That is why we are not solving. And q of x will give us the new two zeros. Now. Factorize by splitting method. What we will do? So thirty-five, na. So I think uh, we can use five into seven. X square minus seven x plus five x minus thirty-five. X is common. X minus seven plus five is common. X minus seven. So x plus five and x minus seven equal to zero. That means our new two zeros are. X plus five equal to zero, so x equal to minus five, and x minus seven equal to zero. That means x equal to seven. So, students, in the original question, we were given two zeros. These are the other two zeros. Okay. So, uh, this would be it for for today. Your homework is from exercise two point four, question number one. First, I have done. Second question, you can also try question number one on your own. Question number two, I have already solved. You can uh, do it, okay. And uh, as you can uh, see that question number three, I already previously told question number three is homework. This was question number four, but I will suggest that you will try this on the on your own because the zeros uh, pattern of question are very important. And there is one more question, question number five. So this three will be your homework for today. That's all from me. Thank you, and we will meet in the next video with a new chapter. So thank you.